Hello guys, welcome to another video in this series of tutorial on Angular material with Angular. In this video, we will learn to add another important UI element which is widely used in most of the websites or applications that is calendar. As you can see here, calendar is nothing but it is a view where we can see all the dates of current month in a web page and there will be a provision for user to go to next month and previous month and they can choose the different year as well. In the previous video we have seen how to embed date picker. So this calendar is similar to date picker what we have used in our application. To add or embed calendar in our angular application just like other UI elements there are three steps which we need to follow. The first one is we need to add API reference for Angular material components in the app.module.ts file. Here we need to add two modules in our application. The first one is Matte Date Picker module, which is a module for date picker. If you are using Angular 7 or below, you can import this one from Angular Material Library. Else, if you are using Angular 8 or above, you can import this one from Angular Materials Date Picker library. And the second module which we need to import is Matte Native Date Module. If you are using Angular 7 or below, you can import this one from Angular Materials library. And if you are using Angular 8 or above, you can import this one from Angular Materials core library. This is the first main step to add a calendar. The second step is you need to import these two modules in imports array of app.module.ts file. And the third step is you need to use this calendar wherever it is required in your web page. Either you can add this one in another division or section or any web page or application. So let's see this one in practical how we can add this one in our application. Let me open code editor first. Currently I have one editor only in, in our application. If we browse this one in browser, you can observe only that header is appearing here. As our first step is we need to add modules required for calendar. Let's go to app.module.ts file and in the import section add the imports for matte date picker module and matte native date module. The second step is we need to add these two modules in imports array. We are done with second step and the final step is we need to go to HTML template and here let me create one section and for this one I will define the width as 700 pixels. And to add the matte calendar we have a dedicated tag by angular material that is matte calendar only that is the thing which you need to do in html template now we are done with all these three steps let's save these files now go back to browser to preview this one and check whether it's working fine or not as soon i open the page you can observe here we have a calendar as we have defined 700 pixel it's not getting fit into our application let me reduce the size of this one to 300 pixel. Save this one and go back to browser. Now we can see entire calendar here. As we expected all the dates are showing here of the current month and there are navigation buttons for next and previous months as well. And user can see the drop down and they can choose different years as well. This is one of the widely used UI element a feature in our applications that's it guys for this video thanks for watching this if you like this video please click on like button share it with others and subscribe to my channel